La la la. Hello, people of the free world. Oh, hi. That's me, Dima from Lviv, from Ukraine, and today we'll speak about famous Ukrainian memes. Just as well. And before I start speaking about the memes, I'm asking you to consider subscribing to this channel, put comment, put like, that will help us enormously. Please, I implore you. And also consider being our Patreon. That will help us to deliver more content just for you. And the first meme we'd like to speak with you today is Solovyov Killers. Tick, 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 tick. Vladimir Solovyov is a famous Russian propagandist. Many years ago, he was a journalist star who was cheating for freedom of speech and rights and equality for people in Russia. Five years ago, he was one of the most popular activists who was telling that the war between Russia and Ukraine is just not possible. But now we can see what money can do with your morale and dignity. Moments later. Этот день мы приближали как могли. Не Луганск и Донецк будут нашими, а вся Украина. Anyway, as I told, he is very popular in Russia. He even has his own show called Solovyov Life. А я не могу не подматываться, не разматываться. In this show, he is sitting near microphone and for hours speaking how the world hates Russia and Russian people. И когда вы грозите России очередными санкциями. В задницу себе их засуньте. Трубочкой зверните. And we agree with him. World do hate Russia and Russian people. But couple of months ago, Solovyov told that Ukraine hired killers to kill him. Посещена деятельность террористической группы, которая планировала нападение и убийство одного из известных российских тележурналистов. And Russian propaganda did a video about these assassins. So, you know, right? That's Russian propaganda. Russian propaganda is like Indian version of Star Wars, but in propaganda. <laughs> so they did the video. Let me share with you how Nazi starter Paka looks from the vision of Russians or how Russian propaganda see Ukrainians assassins. First of all, this is a t-shirt with Nazi symbols, books about anarchy, women week, and three DVDs with different versions of the game Sims. Wow, 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 it's very nice. Yeah, Ukrainians are like that. They're wearing this t-shirt, wearing women week for some reason, and planning their assassinations through the game Sims. They also show the signed book. <laughs> but instead of like some actual signature, there were illegible signature. What? I mean, like it was actually written illegible signature. <laughs> and understand me right, this is not a video which was made by some Ukrainian propaganda. No, that was a video made by Russian propaganda and shown on Russian channels. That, that was their own video. We think that when Russian propaganda ordered to make such videos, they just wrote, hey, can you please show that they bought three SIM cards? That's why we have SIMs and somehow signed the book, but looked like it was super hard requirements for those who did that video. <gasps> Idiot. And you know, like this video if you want to see what Russian propaganda will do next. Second meme is, can we use this to destroy Crimea bridge? Stephanie, mama mia, Stephanie. Ukrainians are smarter, they got braver soldiers, and they actually protecting their land, culture, and history. 14. Russians are occupants, but they are very, very highly outnumbering us. Same is happening in southern part of Ukraine. Russian orcs just destroying our infrastructure, erasing whole cities from the face of Earth, using rockets and artillery, and then just occupying scorched Earth. They have almost unlimited support of supplies which brought to them through Crimean Bridge, the bridge which connects Crimea to the Russia. Obviously, every Ukrainian is super interested in destroying Crimean Bridge, and every time when somebody bring us new weapon, we always asking, can we use this to destroy Crimean Bridge? Memes about that created every day. Every day, every night. And it can be applied to anything. Some company present new phone, 
Can we use that to destroy Crimean Bridge? New car? Can we? Even if UFO comes, the first thing Ukrainians will ask, can we use UFO to destroy this stupid bridge? Angelina Jolie is super sexy bomb. Can we drop it to Crimean Bridge? So yeah, NATO, if you can't close the skies, give us something which we can drop on Crimean Bridge. Hell of the countries. A lot of countries are supporting us. Poland, Estonia, UK, US, Canada and many other countries are supporting us with providing resources, ammunition and obviously heavy weapons. This is helping us to fight back and someday will help us to take our territories back. Some countries like Germany, they are supporting us only on paper. They are speaking up against the war, about importance of stopping the Putin and obviously about something that they will provide to Ukraine. But never do so. Well, they actually think that they've sent some kind of weapons to us, but they never arrived and it's always blocked by some political reason, by some bureaucracy or by some other procedure. And you know, in this situation you can imagine how every day is important to us. Anyway, some deliverables are super slow, some deliverables are super fast and that's when the people started creating the memes about representing the countries via some movie characters or showing how quickly they are providing this support. But honestly, my favorite meme is tweet which was posted by Oleksiy Reznikov, our Minister of Defense. It was posted after the second meeting on Rammstein military base. Damn. Can we use this to destroy Crimean Bridge? Zelensky and Putin. As you all know, Putin has a couple of kids. Identities of these kids are hidden, but everybody knows who they are. In most cases, they have different last names and their identities and connection to Vladimir Putin is super secret. And this is done for their own safety, which, well, we can understand. And also Putin can use this to get around some sanctions. One of his daughters lives in Munich and her name is Katerina Tikhonova. Let's agree that Putin, who's always speaking how horrible West countries is and sending his kids outside the Russia, funny by itself. But the funniest here is that her boyfriend is Igor Zelensky. Yeah, his last name is Zelensky. And he's also <laughs> artist. The internet just exploded with jokes starting that grandkids of Putin will have last name Zelensky and ending up that Zelensky is having sex with Putin. Life definitely has its own way of making memes. And one way or another, Zelensky is fucking Putin. Shafa, the cat. As you probably noticed, Ukraine has a lot of famous animals. Patron, Stepan and now Shafa. Shafa is a cat which was saved from Barodyanka after liberation of the city from Russian occupants. She is 10 years old and in such a respectful age she was forced to meet Russian world. Poor cat. But the memes are all about her name. Shafa from Ukrainian is cupboard. And we here in Ukraine has even famous cupboard. The cupboard from the same city Barodyanka. The kitchen cabinet remained mounted to the wall even despite the fact that the room around this cabinet was destroyed. Russian rockets were shelling the building. They were destroying rooms and the walls, but still, leaving the cupboard hold strong. This cupboard became a symbol of Ukrainian strong will. Anything can happen. Russia can send any amount of rockets or soldiers to our land, but Ukrainians will hold strong. There were tons of memes with this cupboard. Hey, how are you, cupboard? I'm holding strong. What about you, cats? I'm holding strong as well. Yeah, even cats and cupboards in Ukraine are holding strong. We just need a bit of your support in a fight with the biggest evil world now in 21st century. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing, putting like and putting comments. And also, stand with Ukraine.